stuck. Yeah. Don't worry about M1 too much. She's strong. She'll get through this. Simply needs to accept it. Uh, I know. It's just never easy. That's part of the way things are on this island. It's true. I know that firsthand, but just seeing a young, talented girl just in despair, lashing out. Right, well and good hunting. I failed. You're doing a good job, Doctor. I failed. You're mortal. You're mortal, just like the rest of us. I wasn't good enough to save him. I saw you work. It was the best you could do. It wasn't the best. It was the best. He would have survived. Admit to yourself that there are things even you cannot do. It's true. But why? Why am I... stuck with these limitations? Why can't because I save the everybody? Other challenges. Because we all have challenges we must overcome. It's the way of things. It's the other mother teaches us this. It's not good enough. I need to become better. I need to... I need to learn how to save everybody. Well then, pursue that goal. Thanks for talking to me. You'll find the strength. The other mother chose you to be here. Farewell, Doctor. I'm sure I will. Sorry, I was just in character mode. Zerams, it's good RP though, man. But yeah, it, whoever shot Cletus is a clear rule break because he didn't do anything. So it's something we're gonna have to look into. I wish there was an admin on spectating, but obviously I'm I'm playing so.
They're not gonna come back. I think they will. It's actually banded all the people together. There we go. Enough sad songs. Let's uh, let's put put this soundtrack on. I haven't listened to this one in a while. Um, well, you got shot, so technically, yeah, we should look into it. I've got a message, shit. I'm all in. What do you want? I'm sorry. I tried everything I could. Amelin, put the gun away. He didn't do anything. Tried. But that's what happened. It's fate. Amelin. What have you done? Put the gun down. Oh, oh God. Wow. Ah. No, don't kill Fly Fly. Call for Fly Fly. Uh, what? Did she shoot me? Where? She shot both of us. Where's Where's my bird? I don't know, but it's where's mine? Tell me a new bird if my bird dies. How the fuck do we get out of Why? Why did she do that? She's pissed. She's really pissed. And that's in the Is that her up there? Call for your bird. Where's my bird?
Now I spoke to Cletus and there was no fail RP. It was fine. So would you like me to carry you around and see if you can find your bird? Uh, are you sure that thing can carry me? It doesn't look very safe. Oh. Oh god. I'm... Oh god. I'm kinda... I'm kinda new to flying. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> you ate rotten meat. Shh, Cletus, you're all being it as a gunshot, man. Yeah. Okay. You got shot. <laughs> okay. Cletus Cousin. If I was a bird, where would I be? I don't know. I've been picked up, I've Start been shot, I've crazy. been punched. I don't even... Start whistling. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Down real quick. Need okay. Do you want to just fly around? Maybe you can find it for me. Maybe. Maybe ask Emmelyn. Oh God. <laughs> Oh god. Uh, really? You left the games here, Rams? Mate, it's all good RP, bro. We should hold a funeral. I'm gonna have to pick you up, sir. Okay. Give me a second. Let me get some stamina. Did you, did you find it? I found it? your bird. You're gonna have to listen. Yeah, okay. he can't grab it though. So. Oh god. Oh god, it's there. Oh, got it. Thank you. It's just whistling now. I got it. Whistle. I got it. Whistle. Okay. Down we go. Oh god, I feel sick. You're fine. God damn. I need to speak with her father. Why did she shoot us both? I thought she was a nice she girl. She's pissed the fuck off. Yeah, she's nice when, until she gets bit. She's not a very happy girl. Just, just tell her I'm sorry, and that I tried. Okay. Just do remember, she is young, so her anger and upsetness does get mixed. So. Yeah. I don't know what it's like, but... Maybe sh she shouldn't have a, a gun at that age. Yeah, probably. What is your bird? It's, uh, it's here. I got oh, there it, it is. Alright, <laughs> thank you. Well, I have to find Amelon now. Let me know what happens. Will do. RP Tom, we've had so much shit happen. I've had enough. Oh, Z Rams man. RP is drama, bro. <laughs> There's just good drama, good stories, or or bad drama.
And now at least there's like a bit of a plot line if, you, if people were failing to have one, you know. What the fuck is our house? It's over here, isn't it? I don't know. It's over this way more. Oh, griefing? What griefing? I know we've had a few instances of people dropping dinos and stuff. We're looking into that as an admin point aside, but... Sorry, uh, I'm supposed to be meeting. Uh, go ahead. Oh, there's hey. the doctor, Khaleesi. Oh, there he it's is. It's all right. <laughs> what can I, what can I do for you guys? Well, Uncle Chip was is very upset, understandably, mm. and. I just don't want him to rush out and do something dangerous. I agree. Ruin is right, Chip. We need to find out who did this together. Um, yeah, I'll help. They need to. Uh, they need to answer for their crimes, but you don't want to uh, shoot the wrong person because. Or go against the wrong person because it's not their fault, you know. So we just need to wait. Yeah, it's the chaos like people I know it, and that frog guy. We just wipe them all out. We don't. We don't but know that don't for know sure that yet. For sure. And I heard on the radio that Emmeline's missing now. Emmeline. What? Emmeline's missing. I went. I went to meet her at the uh, the green obelisk, and uh, she shot me and uh, Samantha with a trank dot and flew away. <gasps> That's where I just was. Man. Yeah. I didn't really want to say anything because. Uh, Be I'm... careful, Khaleesi. Okay. Emmeline is. I'll try. Emmeline's uh, <laughs> obviously now you upset. You take care now. It was nice meeting you. But uh. You too. So I, I don't hold any wait, wait. Uh, any ill will against her, but wait. So Emmeline, you were going to go meet her, and she trained you, and now she's well, gone. Well, she said on the uh, radio that she was heading there to try and meet with the frog guy, but uh, I guess the frog guy never turned up. And when I got there, there were just Emmeline and Samantha there, and I landed and and apologized for for not being able to. To save, to save Cletus's life, and she, uh, she said, "What do I want?" and stared at me, then pulled the gun out on me, and Samantha jumped in the way, and she got shot, and then she shot me, and flew off, and my bird went missing for a little bit, and Samantha had to help me find it, and then, yeah. So. We really don't know where Emmeline is. Then. 
knows where that frog guy lives. Sorry, I had a, I had a as Where's this frog guy anyway? He wouldn't speak to me, so I don't know much about him. He was wearing a mask and um, the grass type. Not everyone's armor. left. Look, there's loads of people and still he around. He wouldn't talk to us. He just he was at the town show earlier, causing a ruckus with his frog. That's so, huh? And he was with that lady who's always talking about killing people and chaos on the radio. Well, I know a couple people like that. Who? Can't say I can put a finger on one in particular. Sorry. Just different people around the island. They if like we, to cause a lot of trouble. If we met, I, I don't think we Oh, have. really? Maybe just briefly today, but I don't. I don't believe we've met. Um, My name's Bobby. I'm I'm Doctor Faustus. Get away, Uncle Chip. Unfortunately, we can't meet under better circumstances. Yeah, quite unfortunate. But yeah, Chip. I don't quite know their names. I just heard them bantering over the radio as I was flying in from a trip yesterday. I think. I think. The best thing we can do is is hold a funeral for Cletus, and then uh, maybe after that's settled down, we can hold a meeting in the town. And uh, in in between that time, maybe people can gather evidence, and and then after the meeting, yeah, we need to. We should probably discuss having a meeting with the church people to see if it was them, or the chaos people, or whatever they are. I think I think that's what we should do. So, I mean, we should probably bury Cletus. He deserves that, right? Rather than arguing and, and fighting. Well, is there anybody on the island that's like a police officer or an inspector? There was Miss Noir before. She might have been able to help. But she's been gone for a while now. I think. Yeah. She. Uh, Passed away. That's a is shame. that uh, that that uh, the dwarf fella, Mr. Far, is he is he around? Cause he's good at uh, with weapons. I'm not sure. I, I need to find Kezzy. Has anyone seen Kezzy recently? Uh, uh, I think he's been sleeping for a while, but his brother's on. I don't know where he's at though. Kezzy, that fellow that wears the all-black armor, the one that threatened Jaren that one time, is that correct? Kezzy? Did he threaten yes. Jaren? Wait, what? what's this? Why did Kezzy threaten yeah, Jaren? Yeah, he captured him nah, a while he back. Was, he was just uh, scaring him. He, oh. he wasn't threatening him, he was just scaring him off just to, you know, to calm him down, not, not to do anything silly. I was saying. Yeah, well, he almost got a swift ass whooping for that, so... I thought Kezzy was a nice, nice fellow. He's been nice every time I've met him. Seemed like he was, but I don't know. I've just looked at him differently ever since that happened with Jaren. You'll have to talk to Jaren about that. Yeah. Well, do you wanna, do you wanna announce wait, maybe a funeral over the radio, or or do you want to? Uh, yes. Maybe do. a good idea. Let's let Do you want to do it let's tomorrow? Bur let's bury my my nephew. Okay. Yeah, we we can. Where do you want to bury him? We, we get... I guess right next to uh. Oh, Mr. Leone. Warner, I guess right there. Night, night. Nice How's Paris? Night. Sorry, I've not texted well, you. Is that his favorite part? I've of not the got island? any text from you or actually. He likes some place to always go Ooh. to to think. Last one I got is landed safe and sound. Yeah, probably maybe there was a place beach. you like to hang out sometime. Probably he like about the fish. In the sand. Yeah, he liked to fish with his bucket, so it, that's probably a good idea to uh, put it near the water somewhere. Maybe a water a burial, really. that might work, right? Is yeah. the patch out? What's that? Is the patch out, guys? No, it's not out. Wouldn't be too sad to be near there. Sicilian, how's it going? Well, your your Rooney, your area is a lot peaceful. Not a lot of hostility around around that area. Nine, so. nine, though, Leone. I, I think you'll like in that 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 area. 
Plus you get yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry. I, I kind of zoned out. Um, I do apologize. It's been a long day. Huh? Where, where, where is this taking place again? Sorry. Think about building it near near Rooney's place. But the place is like really peaceful. Not a lot of hostility in the area. Yeah, maybe you can build them some type of some type of crypt. What? What really? So somebody somebody's out there in the door. Out there. I don't see nobody. Hello? Probably intruders. I gotta shoot them down then. Is that Emily? No, don't. Put the guns away, people. Hey, no guns. This is a peaceful place, alright? Had enough shooting for today. Please put the gun down. Emily, what are you doing? Emily. Hey, Emily. What's going on, Emily? I'm, I'm lost for words right now. Emily, people are worried about you. I don't hold anything against you. Rooney, get, get in the building. The trank arrow. It's fine. Please put the gun down. Put Rooney, the gun no, down, wait. Chip. Put the gun no, down, Chip. Now, now, Chip. Chip. There's no need for any more guns. All right? Chip, it's fine. Let's calm down here. She, she can put she can put away her gun, and I'll put it away. Emily, getting tired of this people people shooting on this neutral zone. Emily, it's me, Rooney. Emily, put the gun away. Emily, Chip, Chip, put the gun away first, please, please, just put it away. Emily, no, she needs can to put it away because we're on a neutral zone. She will. I'm trying to protect myself and protecting you guys. Are you all right? Chip, I think you should go inside now and let us handle this. You're not in the right all state right of mind then. right now. All right. Can you, can you take him inside? Oh, is she okay? Oh, that's. She all right? Doctor, maybe she was under a spell. What in tarnation? Just back up, everyone. Give maybe us some room. Give us some room. She needs some air. Back up. Oh, Emily. She sang me such a beautiful song today. I'll borrow that. I don't fancy getting put to sleep today. I don't understand what's going on. She had a real bullet. I loaded. don't either, Uncle Chip. She actually had a real bullet I loaded in her gun. I'm gonna confiscate her gun. So I got angry. mine loaded too. I don't. I, I don't. I don't mess around. Uh, uh. Yeah, but she's a child, Uncle Chip. I'm gonna. I've, confis maybe, I've maybe confiscated they got her, her gun. Mind. I always carry an unloaded gun. I think just she's to scare people mostly. I think she's just passed out from over exhaustion. They it's been got a long her day. mind. That Harry Potter guy I was telling you about, and the Dark Lord took over his mind. Should I capture like Emily? Chaos. But she's a kid. I can't capture. Can't her harm kids. Emily, Uncle Chip. It's not her fault. It's not. It's not. She's well, we don't know exactly what's person. going on here. Just uh. Sure does seem like Emily's not acting for herself, though. So maybe we should look she deeper would... into the situation here. I know Emily. Why she'd would... never do that. She'd be afraid her her papa would give her a whooping. Where is her papa? Maybe she, maybe he can tell us something about it. Maybe he's looking yeah, for it. Yeah, Edward at? I have no idea. I haven't seen him since the wedding. No, I'm gonna take her ammo. I'm just gonna take her over gun so she doesn't shoot me. Emily? Emily? If you can hear me, it's me, me Rooney. Maybe she's just passed I don't know out. what they did to you. I think I don't. She can hear me, I sure. We don't know what's happening. Yeah, Maybe we should take her someplace safe to let her sleep. Yeah, to to your clinic there, Doc. Okay. Oh, Carrie. Oh. oh, she's awake. Oh, oh there she wait. is. Emily. The stress made her pass out. Are you all right? I think her mind. She don't like guns no more bitter. than none of us do. God, I need I need like a strong Emily, drink right now. This okay? day is gone. You passed out South from real. You passed out from. I think stress, Ricky I left think. the moonshine back at the farm. Maybe I can get you some of that soon. While you were passed out, I took yeah, your gun and your weapon off you. Just, Emily, it's just so right. looking for that more anyway. You're not okay. in trouble or nothing. You can have it back later. 
we just need to calm the situation down. I think, uh, I think, I think she's lost the ability to speak. Does anybody have a note? No, I, I think she, she has that, uh, doc laryngitis. Uh, I don't have any. Sometimes she can't speak. I don't have any stuff to make a note. At the talent her mind show, sometimes breaks. that chaos person gave her a letter. Maybe I, had a spell later. on it. I have the letter on it right. I have the letter on me right now. She passed it to me to read. Well, maybe you shouldn't read that. This is the letter, people. That's the one that the chaos people gave me at the talent show. Well, gave Emmeline. Just like Harry Potter. Well, I can't read, so. It says. I guess I'll hold on uh, to it. You feel free to What's read it. What's a spoon? Any idea what, what a spoon is? Emily, are you okay? I'm calm. Give me my gun back. You don't sound calm, okay? Why ain't she talking now? Something wrong with her voice box? You shot. You shot me with a trank. Yeah, and you her shot voice box is all messed up. Samantha with a trank as well, unlike you know, I don't think you're in the right frame of nine to be carrying a gun. Uh oh. I think she's well, Chip. I got some important business to attend to back on the farm. You let me know if anything comes of the situation with Cletus and all. All right, I'd be glad to help. I'm gonna. All right, Bobby. I'm gonna carry her to the clinic. I'll take care now. You might need to take a look at her throat or something. I think she's just had a stressful day. Uh, I have no idea about gaming laptops, buddy. They're all cropped in uh, different specs and stuff. Shifty Bite, thank you so much for the follow. Don't know if you're still here. Sorry, Sakura, if you're still waiting for me. I'm just engaged in like some serious RP stuff right now. Who's been in here and lit the fucking torches? Or did I leave them on? I mean, I could take Evelyn hostage, but she's a kid. I can't really do that to a kid. My morals, man. My morals. Oh. Evelyn, are you feeling better? Are you feeling better? I gave you some medicine. You keep passing can you out. Hear me. I can. Do you want to sit down? No. I want my gun back. I don't want to give you your gun back right now. You're not in the best frame of mind. But I want it back now. Emily, what would your father think? I don't care. I'm sorry. I'm not giving your gun back. I'll give it to your father. Or to one of your friends. But I'm not gonna give it back to you. Why did 
did he have to die? It's my fault. It's not your fault. Why would it be your fault? It is. It's not. Because I was playing with the narcs and if I hadn't, then then that person wouldn't have had the opportunity. It's my fault. It's not your fault at all. I couldn't save him. If it's anyone's fault, it's mine. I feel so guilty. And mad, and I'm mad at you. I'm sorry. It's not fair. You can be mad at me if you want to. I am mad at you. I don't blame you. I'm mad at myself. You... Every day. You're a doctor. You're supposed to fix people. I know. And someday I'll be able to fix everybody. But the world's just a cruel place, Emmeline. And this island's even crueler. And until that day, people might die. I'll do my best to save them, but... I'm sorry, Emily. It's all my fault. It's not your fault. Look at me. No. Look at me. Emily. It is my fault. If I hadn't been playing, then... Emily, no one got hurt because of you. Tell that to the dead man lying downstairs. He's not dead because of you, Emily. You didn't shoot him. I might as well have done. No. You can't think like that. I don't think like that at all. Look at me. It's not your fault. You can't carry that burden, okay? I'm sorry I shot at you. It's okay. You're upset. It's fine. I'm all mixed up. I'm still mad at you, but I'm mad at me more. You can be mad at me all you want. Do you want to sit down and talk about it? <laughs> like I said, I wake up mad every day. I just want to be able to fix everybody. Well, you should. You're a doctor, aren't you? That's what doctors do. And I'll, I'll get to the stage that I can fix everybody by any means necessary. What's but that supposed to mean? It doesn't mean anything, Emily. But, you know, life would not be life without death and death is just a part of life sucky um, part would, would Cletus want you to be this upset right now? Cletus was a happy no. jolly fellow he didn't he don't got no choice no more does he? I agree he didn't deserve to die but these things happen, and the people that did it will be brought to justice, but... No, they won't, because no one knows who did it. Uh, 
In my experience, someone always finds out in the end. And who knows, maybe the, uh, the guilt will make them come forward anyway. We just don't know, but... But it's not your fault, okay? I'd rather be given a good hide than deal with the guilt I'm feeling right now. Emily. It was not your fault. Cletus was going to get more beer for the bar. Even if you threw them grenades, even if you didn't, it wouldn't have changed anything. It's not your fault. I think it was a man with the frog. So do I. He's a bad man. He didn't come. And I was nice to him. That's not your fault. Everyone deserves everybody a chance. Else, everybody else was mean to him. They saw right through him, but... Uh, maybe I'm just too dumb. Or... Maybe you're just compassionate. It's not a bad thing. I think I'll go for option one. I disagree. I'm still real mad. Is he downstairs? Yeah. Can I see him? I don't think that's a good idea. Okay. I think we might be burying him soon. You'll have your chance to say. Where? I'm not sure. It's, uh, it's up to his uncle Chip to decide. Uncle Chip hates me now, doesn't he? No. Uncle Chip's... Uncle Chip's just full of grief right now. He's not himself, okay? Neither am I. Not really. The main thing now is that we just find the person who did this and bring them to justice. If I find the person who did this, I'm gonna shoot him between the eyes. And I won't even think twice about it. Emily. Like I said, you're too compassionate. And that's a good thing. Don't let your hands become corrupt because of one madman. Did you ever know the Lady Noir? Yes. She was actually the first person I uh, I met on this island. She uh, she guided me to this town that they were building and told me that I could set up a clinic here. She uh, she seemed like a very nice lady. I'm starting to think she was right. Right about what? She told me people weren't to be trusted. Never to trust anybody. Particularly not me. And I'm starting to believe it now. That's good advice. Do you know she was the scariest person I ever met? How so? But she didn't seem that scary to me. Some stuff happened that I'd rather not talk about. Okay. 
But until now, she's the only person that I got really, really mad at. Why? But I'm so mad right now, I don't know which way I'm going. I don't know whether I want to shoot someone, hug someone, cry, or just throw a great big tantrum right here on the floor right now and kick my legs. You know what? That's normal. You do whatever you want to do, Emily. Well, what I want to do, I can't do without my gun. Why do you need your gun? Because I want to kill that son of a bitch that killed Cletus. I think a lot of people want it, but... You don't want that kind of thing on your hands, Emlyn, okay? You don't. You've got your whole life ahead of you. You're young, innocent, talented. My whole life ahead of me is stuck on this island. That ain't much of a life, is it now, Doctor? You don't know what the future holds. Might not be stuck here for long. One sec, I'm quickly changing playlist. It's getting like crazy. Well, we have to wait and see, won't we? I suppose. I have a funny feeling I'm gonna be older than my daddy. I'm gonna be an old lady sitting on the front porch in a rocking chair staring at a dillo. What's wrong with Instead that? Instead of being the crazy cat lady, I'm gonna be the crazy monkey lady. Just wait and see. New people seem if to I show up to the long. island every day. Who's to say that people won't leave the island someday? You don't know what's you gonna happen. You ever know anybody to leave? I've not been here that long. I suppose not. The only way to leave here, Doctor, is to die. Well, I'll let you into a little secret, Emily, okay? I did a lot of research before coming here, okay? And yes, the reason I came here was to study the native species and the wildlife, and hopefully find some new cures to diseases that, uh, that are out there killing killing the world. I came here so I could fix the world. And in my research I found there is one way to get off this island. One way. There might be more, but this is one way that I know of. Do you want to know it? Sure do. I don't know if it holds any meaning yet, but this is what I'm counting on. Every third year, you can see a ship sailing on the horizon. And if you're lucky, it comes to dock. The ship, it's not a little ship, it's a galleon. Just like the one that I got here on. And you want to know the captain's Kate. name? Yes. Jones. Davy Jones. Apparently he's the only man that can escape this island and come to it free of will. Well, with that, I think I'm as screwed as ever. I'm stuck here until I'm old and decrepit or, or meet some other sticky end in the teeth of a dino. Now so? Maybe one day you'll get to leave with Davy. Go back to the normal world. Yo, what up, panda? I don't even think I know what normal is anymore, even if it bit me in the ass. That's true. This island changes you. Hell, I've changed already. I've got a huge bite mark in my leg and I have no idea why. 
Well, Doctor, it's been a nice talk, but I got a, I got a few things to do. Promise me you're not gonna do anything stupid. That I can't answer. As I told you, I'm kinda dumb. Tell me what you're gonna do. I'm kinda really conflicted right now. I'm tempted to go out there and run off that cliff and jump in and let the crocodiles chew on my bones. I'm not gonna let or... you do that. There's people that or care about you. To... Yeah, but I don't care. Not anymore. That people does... around me get hurt. And people are gonna get hurt if you jump off the cliff into shark infested or crocodile infested waters. Is that fair on them? To, the, to put them through that pain? No. I was not. Do you want me to call someone? No. Why not? Because I don't. Well, what are you going to do? I don't know. I might take a walk. Promise me, you're not going to do anything stupid. Well, no offense, but you should have asked me that before you gave me my raffle back. I trust you, Emmeline. Don't do anything stupid. Don't get that kind of stuff on your hands. You're a smart young person. Doctor, you think more of me than I do of myself. That's because I have And I decent. can't promise you nothing. I have the sight to see into people. To see their feelings and to see what they're like. And even if you don't believe in yourself, I know deep down you're not gonna do anything stupid. You do what you wanna do. You don't know me at all, Doctor. Hmm. I don't know me anymore. Thank <laughs> you.